Hi, I'm John. And hi, I'm Jim. And today we're off to the Mahasar Khan Museum. Uh, Mahasara Khan University now. See the beginnings of the sign straight in front of us. Coming up to the roundabout. We'll be going straight through. Behind that clump of trees there, down past those. So we're only about three or four hundred metres away at this moment. There's a huge sign for the university, of course. So straight down this road for a way, we'll be there shortly. Apart from this red light, we'll be there shortly. Here it is on our left, Mahasarakam University Museum and Zoo. Several square metres just taken up of the yards taken up before the fucking Bay Breed. So much more intelligent than hoofed animals. You'd love to get out, wouldn't you? I'd love to let you out. So his his art is a store shed as well. Isn't that mate, eh?
Good morning, everybody. My name is Chalem Chon Phuong Si, the officer in the Office of International Affairs of Mahasarakham University. Uh, good morning. My name is Yuadi Malimat. I work in uh, MHG Museum. And today I would like to introduce you to the MSU Museum. And MSU Museum is established on the 1st of June 1999 by Associate Dr. Thawisin Sivathana with the support from Professor Dr. Pavit Thongrod, the President of Mahasalakam University at that time. Okay, firstly I would like to introduce you to Ruan Putai, the original Northeastern house Ruan Putai is the uh, is attached on the hill by Putai people, and there is no windows to avoid of the hard wind blow. And the second one is Lau Khao or Tuk To Lau. Here is the room for the new married person in Isan custom, Isan traditional. Is Ruankei. Ruankei is different from the other house because of there is the deck for this house. is Ruan Kong. Ruan Kong is different from uh, the other house also because uh, they will divide the bedroom from the house, from the main house. See, you will you will, uh, you will find that all the house is on the second floor above from the uh, ground because of in, in the past they feed the animal up uh, below the house. Isan people do it. Now I would like to show you the exhibition about MSU history and about the lifestyle of Mahasalakam people in this exhibition room on the small Ruan Payu in MSU Museum. You can look around. Are these about particular people and their, their stories and memories? Uh, just, uh, just only the picture or the uh, history about MSU. Okay, okay. And I have something to tell you about Isan. Uh, traditional uh, before in the past we have three, three times of watching in one day in the morning we will wash our face in at noon we will wash our hand and in the afternoon 
before we come in our house, we will wash our feet. And the little pool is used for wash our feet before going in the, in our house after work. It might be long time, so the water is quite yep. <laughs> You find money, did you? Don't stand there. Okay, Jim, what did you think about uh, Maha Sadakam uh, Museum today? Well, one of the virtues of the museum for me is that the toilets were Western standard and very, very clean. That's not always the case in Thailand, of course. Also, it's worth mentioning that there is absolutely no entrance fee payable. The museum is completely free. There's also ample easy parking in front, but on the other hand, there's no noticeable refreshment outlets whatsoever, which ain't so good on a hot day. If you go straight in from the car park, what is it? a benefit really is you just keep going straight and you go between the traditional Thai houses and you will very soon come upon the museum office where you will find the staff are very approachable, very helpful, and you can pick up a a uh, brochure in English, or you know, if you want something translated, that will possibly help you if they've got time. Um, about in, in regards to the animal enclosures, most of them are okay. The, the one down the back, is sort of the rear deer enclosure, was definitely substandard, and I'll just say that it was, I'll put it this way, it, it was rather right. Um, there is also one other fault, I suppose you'd call it, is, is a want of shade around the lake and the garden area, which is quite extensive, very good in that regard. But this is where, of course, you might want to have a picnic or just relax. So on a hot day, uh, you really do need some shade. On the other hand, with the animal farm, the enclosures and the museum itself, there's actually plenty of shade and um, quite soft, dappled sunlight. So all in all, I, I was um, quite taken with the place. And uh, what, what did you think of the film? I was quite taken with it, considering, as you say, it was free. Yeah. It's somewhere you can go and have a look at uh, some older style Thai houses, yep. if you're interested in uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, architecture um, or older all the building techniques. Absolutely. Um, but yes, um, I think for a couple of hours uh, that you've got to spare, it's within easy reach of Maha Sadakam, only been approximately eight kilometres or probably less than that from the centre of Maha Sadakam. Yeah, I think it's about a 10 minute, 12 minute drive Absolutely. from the centre of town and pretty much straight all the way. Okay. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like that and uh, would like us to do any other videos in relation to uh, Maha Sadakam or its surrounding area, just put a suggestion or a comment in the comments part of uh, the video. Thanks very much. <laughs>